Hello and welcome to the 50 Cent Tour of Friday, July 19th, 2013. Uh, please find a seat on the Liberty Bus and we will begin our tour. And as I'm just beginning to record this, I'm hearing Alex Jones uh, talk about the Tsarnaev deception that his throat really wasn't cut and uh, he's asking people to post on Facebook and tweet and just get the information out that the government really totally lied about this situation and about what's really going on. Who killed Detroit City and why? Detroit filed for bankruptcy last night and, you know, you say what you want about reaping and sowing. Detroit has long been a mafia town. And, of course, the unions, the, the big auto workers unions. There have been underhanded dealings going on there for some time. But, to, you know, to just blame the whole thing on reaping and sowing and look the other way, uh is foolish. This is the plan and I, I heard Alex Jones say the other day that you know if you watch mafia movies uh, and he was especially I think referring to Goodfellas they would go in and take over a restaurant make the, not, not change ownership just force the guy to let them run it and they would run up the bills and not pay the bills and eventually the restaurant would have to declare bankruptcy and then they would burn it down for the insurance so they get money coming and going. And as Alex was saying, that, that's what, what they've done to America. And now we're in the bankrupt phase, and they're ready to burn us down. And uh, we, I believe that we can, we can redeem America. I believe that we can, we can find restoration. But it's definitely something to be aware of, and Detroit should just be this huge warning flasher for all of us. Jimmy Carter, Snowden's leak useful. America has no functioning democracy. I am not a huge Jimmy Carter fan. He's definitely been complicit in some of what the cabal has done to our country. But interesting thing about Jimmy Carter in the accounts of the Project Monarch presidential slaves, sex slaves. Jimmy Carter always turned down any opportunity. He, he was faithful to his wife uh, physically, and uh, that's, that's saying something in the midst of all the guys who uh, have been in that office and, and all of the shenanigans that have gone on. So... I, I found this an interesting article, and I, I, there also was an article today, my computer is uh, giving me real headaches this morning, so I didn't put it up, but I also saw an article that stated that there's a defense contractor who is not going to uh, accept government contracts anymore because he acknowledges, the, the, the company acknowledges that we have committed war crimes as a country. So I thought that was rather significant. And here's another interesting uh, country that's standing up. Saudis unprecedented break with Washington over Egypt. In many respects, it does feel as if the cabal is losing control. And this is, this is yet another aspect of it. You know, we've kept some of these countries down for so long. Uh, they're, they'll be delighted to be out from under our thumb. Not in, when I say our, I don't mean yours and mine. I mean, actually, the cabal control that has functioned through our government. Former Mexican president, the drug war has been a total failure. And here's just another public voice 
echoing, you know, that, that this isn't this isn't working out, guys. This isn't working out. So I believe that people are realizing this on a large scale. And this is just a little bit of information in case you were curious. These 17 agencies make up the most sophisticated spy network in the world. And the, the U.S. intelligence community is vast, composed of 17 distinct organizations each operating under its own shroud of secrecy. I'm having trouble scrolling, but I believe the amount, it was, I think it's $75 billion a year that this is costing all of us. The over-criminalization problem, Congressional Research Service can't even list all federal crimes when we talk about and think about the corporatization of the prisons and how they have become a source of income. This just fits right along with that. Uh, so, you know, be careful what you do. You may be, create, may be committing a crime. Elizabeth Warren takes her fight for Glass-Steagall to CNBC and this is significant because Glass-Steagall has a long history. It was, uh, I think, introduced in 1833 and Reagan uh, shut it down And this is actually good news that, that this has been introduced and people are promoting it. It really can serve to regulate the banking industry in such a way as to protect the American public. And if you want to know more, I mean, you can do a simple, this is a start page search, but uh, about Glass-Steagall, LaRouche Pack, and there's a lot of information here and of course there's a Wikipedia article and all sorts of information about Glass-Steagall and there it's it's getting a lot of attention right now and may well pass I think it may pass today so I, I read that in a blog somewhere so this is this is more good news that that banking is being reined in. The tour of the day is a presentation of She Who Will Walk in the Dark Productions. Thank you for being with us for today's tour. The dawn is coming. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will have a wonderful, restful weekend, that you will love one another. Take care and insist on liberty.